Welcome to the All of One channel. I'm Kelly Rosano, and this is Aquarius, July 2013. Aquarius, in June you were focused on your creative self-expression, your self-confidence, taking risks, love affairs, speculating. It was a very outgoing time for you. Now here in July, the energy has moved to your lifestyle, your health habits, your diet habits, your psychological diet, how you feed yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. So with Mercury retrograde in this area, you may be, you know, going over things over and over and over, the same old stuff. So um, you really do want to exercise patience in July. You know that dirty P word, patience. And, um, you know, just, you know, take it easy the first few weeks of July. Once the sun shifts into Leo and then you have your full moon, and I'll talk about that in a minute, you'll begin to um, see where this is all going. Mercury retrograde is the brain goes subconscious. We're not conscious. We think we're conscious. That's why it's not the best time to make major decisions, get married, buy a car. Because we can find out afterwards when we come to conscious awareness, oops, what was I thinking? So now July starts off with fireworks because the sun is in security seeking cancer, which is six signs from you. And it's, uh, that's why you're, you know, you're really focused on your lifestyle right now and your work and your health and all that good stuff, which is important. And so we go into July with the sun in Cancer and wa walks right into Pluto, powerful Pluto and Uranus in uh, Aries. And that's, that's pretty explosive. And then we have the new moon um, in Cancer on July 8th. And this is happening in your workhouse, your health house, your lifestyle. So this is a good time to practice extreme self-care, drinking tons of water. Uh, eating really well, exercising, meditating, really practicing that extreme self-care. And of course, the new moon on July 8th in this area of your life is all about paying attention to your feelings. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. And so by listening to your feelings, they're your guidance system. They're directing you. When we don't listen to our feelings, when we suppress our feelings, we can overeat, we can overspend, we can be workaholics. So that's how you know you're trying to avoid your feelings. And cancer is all about feelings. The key word, phrase for cancer is, I feel. So the Cancer New Moon is challenging the Pluto Uranus, and it's asking for you to... Um, don't focus so much in the brain because the head can just keep spinning and spinning and obsessing about things and obsessing about people or situations or thoughts. Release that and go deep inside of your inner self, your soul self. Your strength will increase when you shift out of old habits and old thought patterns that no longer serve you. And this new moon will help you do that. Now, Saturn, your ancient ruler, goes direct on July 8th as well, right after the new moon. Saturn has been retrograde since February 18th. Saturn wants to know what have you learned over these past few months. Saturn in Scorpio teaches you patience, wisdom, and self-discipline. The wisdom is gained through testing, delays, frustrations, and limitations. Saturn and Scorpio want you to own your authority, set boundaries, own your power, your self-worth, especially when it comes to your finances and relationships. Now, Saturn has been testing you in the area of your reputation in the world, your career in the world, your legacy in the world, how you define your individuality in the world, your achievement in the world, your passion in the world. So now with Saturn moving direct, this is going to bring new opportunities for you. And Saturn is in harmonious energy flow with Neptune in the area of your money, your finances, your inner resources, your talents, skills, and abilities, your sense of self-worth, self-respect, self-appreciation, using your skills and your abilities to create wealth for yourself. This is very good for you because Jupiter is now in the area of your work, forming a grand trine to Saturn in the 10th and Neptune in the 2nd. This is really good for 
promotion, increasing your wealth, increasing your money. And um, this continues through July and August. And it's the way out from the harsh Pluto Uranus energy that may has, you know, it's too much in your head. You're spending too much time thinking about things. You know, it's, it's almost better to have amnesia, to forget what happened yesterday or last year or whatever. You know what I mean? And just be here today. What do I need to do today? What can I accomplish today? Um, now, Mars enters Cancer on July 13th. And this is really good for, you know, for diet, exercise, increasing your health, well-being, vitality, having Mars here, increasing your ability to work and get things done. Very strong for you. And... Um, Uranus, your ruling planet, uh, retrogrades July 17th through December 17th. So if innovation takes a backseat, it's okay, because the emerging Grand Water Trine fills you with hope, optimism, and nourishment. So take your time and take really good care of yourself. Now Mercury the Messenger moves direct on July 20th. Yay! Something to celebrate. Work projects can start moving ahead. Uh, this is a good time to start a business. This is a good time to get hired. This is very good for you. Venus enters Virgo on July 22nd in your eighth house of other people. Give me your money. Financial support for your partner, your husband, or your wife. It's very good. And then the sun enters his home sign, Leo the Lion, on July 22nd. And we have the Aquarius full moon on July 22nd. This is your full moon, Aquarius. This is a very powerful full moon because the minute the sun enters Leo, the moon enters Aquarius, and they both T-square your ruling planet, Saturn. So Saturn is about getting down a business. Saturn in Scorpio is a challenging this Aquarius full moon, revealing the chinks in your ego structure, your blind spots. For instance, where are you giving your power away? Now, you could be giving your power away through your own brain by obsessing about things, by thinking things too much. You can literally think things to death this month. And like I said, it's almost better if you just let it go, release it. Don't think about things. Just think about what can I do, what do I need to do, and let everything else go. Let it all go. Um, so Saturn says release the distractions. Narrow your focus and home in on your specific goals. And this will help you gain greater self-confidence. Now, just before the full moon in Aquarius, Mars and Jupiter are coupled. And they're forming this rare, grand, magical, grand water trine with Saturn, your ruling planet, and Neptune. This fuels your courage, your enthusiasm, inspiring confidence, and bold moves. Mars and Jupiter puts the wind in your sails to overcome all obstacles and make your dreams real. Now, this is very good because Saturn is saying, I'm only giving you enough energy to get the job done and focus on what I want you to focus on. And this grand water trine is going on, bringing you opportunities in your work area, in your financial area, in your career area. So you can be driven for success. You can have abundant energy. You can be the practical idealist. You can be a practical dreamer. You have spiritual uh, protection. You can have inborn timing. You can be, you know, really practical, but yet have, you know, your dreams come true. So this is a really positive time for you. And it's increasing your reputation in the world, your profession in the world, as well as your income and your work abilities, your ability to get things done. The more we can work, the more income we can create, and the more that comes to you. Now, July 27th through um, July 31st, Mars and Cancer is in challenging aspect to Uranus, your ruling planet, and Pluto. This is a highly volatile energy. This dynamic can bring up old issues. It can bring old issues to a head. And for you, it has to do with people you're working with, it has to do with people in your community, and it has to do with this obsessional thinking that may be going on for you at this time. So the, you know, if we, you know, the saying is, what if we held a war and nobody showed? Um, at the same thing is, you can't be in a power struggle, it takes two, right? And if you don't do that dance, then you're not gonna go there. So avoid power struggles, avoid ego battles, avoid right fighting. Instead, focus on what is working. Communicate effectively with others 
And, you know, human nature is what's in it for me. So with the Pluto Mars, we want to create the win-win. So if you have employees or uh, colleagues or even your boss, you want to create the win-win. Here's how I see it this way, and here's how it benefits you. Oh, it benefits me? Yeah, it benefits you. By doing that, you're creating the win-win, and people will jump on Team Aquarius. And that's the goal, is to get people to jump on Team Aquarius and, and be there for you. Um, now, love can be a focus for you this month because when the sun goes into Leo, Leo is seven signs from you. It rules your seventh house of marriage and partnership. So, you know, love can come to you uh, in July, late July, August. It can be a time of focus for you, uh, of, of uh, attracting new relationship for those who are interested in relationship. It's also a time to focus on relationship, create that win-win. Money is going to increase for you. Job promotion is going to increase for you in July, August. Your spirituality is off the charts. I mean, it really is an incredibly spiritual time, especially when you can let the lower mind go and all of that obsessing and going over the same old stuff. Release that. Focus on what is working for you. Focus on what you can accomplish. This is a really strong time to increase your health, your well-being, your vitality, your work skills, your communication skills, your people skills, and really see that promotion for you. Whether it's more money, starting a business, starting a new job, getting a raise, getting a new job. It's in the cards for you. It's in the stars for you. It's there for you. You have a lot to look forward to, Aquarius. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and favoring my podcast. You're so awesome. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. Now, I've added a free astrology chart service for you. It's my gift to you. If you don't know what your ascendant is, you don't know what your moon sign is, it's really important to know that you may not have an Aquarius ascendant, and it is important for you to know that. If you go to my home page at the bottom of the page, you click on it, and it gives you a free little mini reading. It's my gift to you. Now, if you're interested in a personal reading where I go in detailed with you, that link is there too. Um, and you go to my astrology page, you choose the length of the session you want. Once I see you've made that commitment, I email you my schedule. You choose the day and the time that you want. And we're off and running, rocking and rolling. So until next time, Aquarius, be amazing.